Yes, brothers and sisters, now for the fun stuff. Nelson Mandela was used to prepare Africa for the NWO. Conquering Africa now is what the NWO is all about. This has to do with the uh, Matthew 20 and 16 chapter and verse, which is often used to apply to a lot of things. Uh, Like many of the scriptures in the Bible, they have uh, multiple usages and meanings. Uh, This is where the Illuminati get that uh, philosophy from concerning their symbols, the multiple usage and meanings. It's a way of trying to make it appear deeper than what it is uh, on their behalf. But it's because of the supernatural power of the Bible, regardless of how you feel about Christianity or the Bible uh, or the Masons who inserted things therein. You would be remiss if you don't take a look at the playbook that your enemy pulls its plays from. It doesn't matter how you feel about it. But again, uh, we know that there's some occult significance involved in this whole thing. And Africans are not ignorant to how to access the spirit realm, my friends. Uh, Of course, we're not making a blanket sweeping accusation of Africans. However, we know that uh, the Christian tradition is not the strongest belief system there. Okay, and things that um, Christians believe. Uh, It's more of a place where the New Age philosophies, the Aquarian Age belief systems of using magic and contacting the spirit realm rules the day. And it has for a long time. So he's called Madiba, which means great one or uh, a term used to show respect as to a father. Ironically, this is also a term that can be used to call one a god. So when you hear about the Madiba magic, understand what's really going on. Now, his connection to the St. John Knights of Malta is a connection directly to the Catholic Church. Now, ironically, the Catholic Church and members in the uh, Zionist community, uh, people who, who are a part of the Zionist agenda, are by and large who fund a lot of your black leaders, Uh, both black leadership outside of the church and, of course, within the church, because a lot of uh, big, powerful mega churches are really ran by the Catholic church. And you will see the uh, symbol of uh, the Jesuit order, the crown with the, what is it, the scepter in the middle or the crown with the sword in the middle. This is a sign that it is indeed the Catholic secret orders who are calling the shots and who are really bossing that church, whatever church it is. So we got one more minute. Of course, the fake interpreter. If you don't know about the fake interpreter, uh, Tom Sanka Jant G, I believe, is how you would say his name, but uh, J-A-N-T-J-I-E, look it up. He was a, uh, a fake interpreter. Uh, By all admissions from the interpreting community, Odette Swift, a leader in that community, in the deaf community in South Africa, said that no one knew him. And, of course, uh, you know, like in quite closely knit circles, people know each other. And he was uh, charged with murder, rape, kidnapping, theft, and attempt murder. And he's also considered to be a schizophrenic, which is nothing but a modern-day medical term for one who has a legion. And we know that a legion is a multiple of spirits. So uh, we're just getting into the occult side of this. This may be all for tonight, but we're going to talk more about reptilians and Zulus on the next one. So shalom.